Today, we're going to talk about how you can attract higher paying clients for your small business. And it all starts with mindset. Are you a small business owner with that nagging doubt that you're just not good enough? We've all been there. You want to market yourself in affluent areas. However, that little voice in your head. Who are you to have a client like this? Self-doubt, that internal battle between ambition and self-doubt, it can paralyze you, keeping you with loan paying jobs and missed opportunities. This is something that most small businesses have to overcome. The majority of them will at some point have the same feelings that you're having now, that you can't get that higher paid work for one reason or another. If you open a textbook, They'll give you a lot of different reasons to imposter syndrome, but I'm going to give you my tip on how I overcame it. So the biggest thing that helped me overcome imposter syndrome and I don't belong here and who am I to charge that? Those well-paying customers, they'll not buy from me. Why would they buy from me? All those feelings I've managed to set aside and how I've done it is I think to myself, where do I want to be in five years time? And I always just try and picture that and you want to keep it measurable and achievable but always have that clear goal where do i want to be in five years time what am i going to be doing and those goal posts always move over time price versus value who sets the price ultimately you the business owner sets the price however the customer determines the value if they perceive the value to outweigh the price, then they're more likely to invest in you. Welcome back. So I'm now at my third property and we're going to talk about how to market yourself and find those high paying customers. So to market yourself to high paying customers, it's really important to know exactly who they are, what makes them tick, and more importantly, the problems that they have and how you can solve those problems for them. You don't want to sell yourself on price. You want to sell yourself on providing a service that helps them overcome their problems. And the easier you can make that for them, then the easier it is to sell yourself to them. You need to show how you can solve your client's problems and provide measurable results. Consider pricing your services on your value rather than your time and effort. An absolute must for attracting high paying clients is having a strong presence online. That is a really good website and if you want to double that up, some blogs. Now you, a little secret, you don't have to write the blogs yourself. That's easy to farm out to someone else and allow you to carry on building your business. So invest in your time, or if you're paying someone to write the blogs for you, it's not just a one hit wonder. Blogs are really good and they are a bit of a slow burner if you put them onto your website. They do take a little time to work, but they can get your website to rank really well locally on searches. It'll provide really good content for you to share LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're promoting your services and trying to attract those high paying customers. Something else is that Blogs are absolutely fantastic for remarket your services to customers that have maybe haven't bought from you in a while. You've entered just a new service and you want to tell your customers all about it. For the last 10 years, I've used a software called Jobber to run my business. They actually sponsor the channel. It's an easy recommendation for me. So Jobber does all the normal stuff, quoting, scheduling, invoicing, getting me paid faster, all that fun stuff. Brilliant. Whenever you're wanting to attract and keep, more importantly, those high paying customers, they expect top tier service from you. 
Now, I know my trade and I'm very good at it. And whenever we go do the job, everything's done to the best we can do it. However, there's lots of stuff in between and that's where Jobber kicks in. So let's say a customer contacts me via my website. They automatically get an email to say, yes, we've received your, your request and we're gonna deal with it. And there's lots of different things. So we're gonna send client reminders the night before, let people know they're coming. We can store their credit card on file. There's loads and loads of stuff that can be done. You're gonna hear me talking more about, because I just love Jobber, because I've been using it for so long and it's the absolute backbone of my business. They've recently introduced the feature reviews. So whenever we do a job, we can set up that job to ask for reviews. And what I've found this year is that my reviews are really skyrocketing just from Jobber automatically asking for those reviews. Every year, we offer a gutter cleaning service to a select number of clients. In the past, I've always had to email all those customers to let them know that we're doing the service this year and do they want to use the service. So now, based off a line item on an invoice, I can directly segment those customers and send them a newsletter dear customer just to let you know this year we're doing the gutter cleaning service would you like to book in for it reply to the email below job done one of the best things i've done from a business and it has really helped me target those high paying customers is joining networking groups and trade associations and trying to network as much as i can the reason for that you can meet people that have, are five years from where you want to be now or 10 years, and you can learn from their experiences. The UK Lawn Care Association has been absolutely key to the growth of my business because I've been able to network with people and take from what they've got and use that to target those high paying customers. For this customer, we're not actually top dressing the whole lawn. We're just gonna, there's a bit underneath these trees here, these bleached trees here. There's a bit underneath these trees that we're just gonna soil. I'm just doing this as a little bonus to say, you always wanna look after your good customers. Whenever you start getting high pen customers, it unlocks something. High pen customers will always have more friends that are very similar to them and they'll also probably run very successful businesses and you can get into those too. Whenever I start working for one, then I tend to find my way before knowing I'm working for three or four of them and the network just grows. If you want to find out how Mark from The Lonologist grew his business to over £100,000 his first year, watch this podcast next.